What's the song for the moment or whatever? And I, I specifically said, what is the song for this moment right now? What is it that I need to hear? Bring forth the clarity in a song, Spirit. In Best Life by Cardi B featuring Chance the Rapper came on. And it's just funny how Spirit worked because I'm in a park right now sitting in my car and as I was driving in here I was like God <laughs> I don't know what's going on I don't know what you're trying to do in my life or whatever but I deserve to live my life and I said best life at that mm -hmm. and so when I parked and I said, look, I'm, I'm just looking for a sign. I'm looking for a message. I'm looking for a word on this day. What's the message of the day, God? And this song came on. So it's just confirmation that, yeah, you deserve to live your best life. But you got to decide that that's what you want to do. I've been decided that. And so this is why I'm just like a little turned up and fired up right now because I'm not seeing my best life. I'm not feeling my best life. But being me and knowing that everything is a message, everything is a sign, I still know it that I'm living my best life because I choose to. And so the signs all around me. Now the song that's playing, it won't stop. The title of the song, you can't stop. You won't stop because you gonna get to the life that you wanna live. The life that you desire and require and deserve to live, it's up to you to get you there. So of course you can't stop. Nobody can't do it for you, but it's just frustrating, so. Just hear me out for a moment. This this message won't be long at all because it's spontaneous as hell. I don't even feel like talking. I just keep on saying I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk because I ain't got nothing to say until some things start to change in my life. And so <sighs> I'm just frustrated. So I'm allowing myself to feel this frustration. I'm allowing myself to feel the anger. I'm allowing myself to feel... The defeat, I feel real defeated and I feel like all the time it comes to a point in my life where I have a defeating season. And as I look back over my life, it's always like that. And I'd be frustrated every time it come around because it's just be like, God, what is we doing here? Why? Why does it have to be like this? And so then I'm reminded yeah you had your defeating moments your frustrating moments all of these ups and downs and difficult tasks and no's and disappointments and abrupt stops pauses and just straight out flat out it ain't working road closed detour abort the mission but Soon after, everything just begins to be smooth. It starts to work out. You get yes, you get approved, you get this, you get that. It be a calm in the midst of the storm, after the storm, it be good. 
You get everything that you desire and require in that season. But you got to go through some things. <laughs> and I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't like that you got to suffer first. Like, that shit's stupid to me. I'm just sorry. It just is. It's stupid. Because why? I got to suffer first to learn a lesson? Like, God, can I just get the lesson plan, read over it, and then have what it is I desire and require. Why we gotta go through these motherfucking loops and hoops? I'm tired. I'm tired of it. And so, it just gave me at a point where I just like, I don't even wanna talk. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk to nobody. I don't want to do nothing. I don't wanna fake the funk cause I ain't ever done that. If I ain't feeling it, I'm just not feeling it. You gonna see it all over my face and I ain't gonna put a smile. I ain't gonna grin and bear through it. I'm just, I haven't ever been that type of person. I'm gonna tell you what the fuck is up and why or I'm gonna be alone with it to tell myself what the fuck is up and why and then I'm pop out with a smile because I feel like smiling but if I don't feel like smiling baby just stay clear leave me alone for a second cause I gotta figure some things out or not so I just be having my moments where I just gotta be with myself to, to see God what is what is we learning here what is this what is this and I gotta allow the frustration because I don't even like being in this type of energy but in this type of energy some things gonna start to sh change and shift because you're so uncomfortable because you're so frustrated you're gonna figure some things out or you're gonna be angry enough to be like you know what this is this is just nonsense. Let me just stop. Let me just be quiet. And then God gonna move. I already be knowing this, but sometimes you just gotta be, you gotta voice it. I don't know. And this is beetroot juice. Straight from the motherfucking earth. It's, it's nasty as hell, but it's good for you. And it's all right to laugh because it's comical. At this point, it's just real comical how life be. And then, <laughs> and then it starts to work out. And then it starts to be okay again. And then the sun started to shine again but right now in this moment i'm just feeling like i don't want to do that <laughs> i don't want to wait on the sun to shine again that's how i'm feeling today in this moment i just wanted to shine again and y'all probably confused like well it looks like it's shining yeah right now physically yes the sun is shining but on the in, in, in the on the innermost parts of me, it's very much dark as this motherfucking shirt. And I don't like it. That's just what it is. And what just came into mind. Remember, Shakara, you're the seed. Mm. Remember, when you're the seed, you gotta get buried. You're in the dirt. You're in the mud right now. But you always gonna be the seed and, and when, when you pop out the dirt, you gonna see the sun again, you gonna shine, you gonna go towards the sun and be blooming because then you the flower. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm just irritated. I'm irritated with my life. I'm irritated with the process of life. I'm irritated with the systems within this life. <laughs> <laughs> like earth right now is real ghetto it's been ghetto but it's like real ghetto right now because a lot of things is changing a lot of things is shifting and being a fixed sign and i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna blame it on zodiac signs but like i've said before the astrological 
movements and planetary alignments in this world have a lot to do with how people act and the psychological things that go on in our life it has a lot to do with the planetary alignments and there's a lot going on right now in the planetary alignments and so with being a fixed sign we are affected the most and at first and some days i'll be like i ain't feeling what they saying we gonna be feeling in this retrograde but it just hits you like a ton of bricks sometimes and then you be like oh okay yeah because as an Aquarian I don't really like change all that much that was the old me before I decided I just woke up and chose balance one day and so it's like God I need change I need something to do other than what I've been doing so I'm ready for change change my heart change my mind about things change me God and some things just started to really change and then i be like oh i forgot about that prayer because why the fuck would i voluntarily pray to change when i know that in the deeper parts of me i still needed to work on wanting change because i'd be comfortable with the the things that i desire require in my life i'd be comfortable and you know in comfort zones they yield no results they yield no change they yield no new so yeah god had to get me uncomfortable i had to get myself uncomfortable and be okay with being uncomfortable but god how long we gotta be uncomfortable is all i'm asking all i'm i'm saying like how long is the uncomfortable season the uncomfortable stage because goodness gracious did i not learn the lesson i feel like i learned the lesson i'm tired i'm tired of this so what are we doing here i'm tired of crying i know crying is cleansing but goodness gracious i didn't know how much i needed to cleanse before this because I can, I, I can cry at the drop of a head and I don't like that for myself. Honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it because what the fuck are you crying for? <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. That's this is my old me I'm trying to resurface because <laughs> um, yeah, that used to be me asking, why are you crying? Why are you crying? But now the new me it's okay with crying and realize that it's a cleansing process and cleansing is needed to heal and all of that good stuff and I chose this healing journey and, and all of that good stuff that come with it and, and crying come with healing because you gotta let it go you gotta release 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 and so yeah the new the new me agree and understand that but the old me is just like baby why is you crying so much i don't like that for you but it's okay anyway but yeah i ain't gonna blame everything on zodiac signs but being a fixed sign you just be fixed and set on stuff i'm set on what it is that i like what it is I don't like, what it is that I desire and require in my life, I'd be fixed on it. Like, God, I don't, I don't, I don't desire to change that because I'm good with that. But God said, no, nah, you asked for change, so you're going to get this change. And baby, look, I'm just having the day, I'm just having a moment, actually. I ain't gonna let this consume my day but God we need we need some answers and they showing up you know um, and I'm pretty sure some more things gonna show up but at this moment with my arms outstretched God I need you to make a way <laughs> like you've done so many times before come on smoke smoky Norfolk because baby 
it's, it's just And then I'm, I'm hearing clear as day, get out your way, get out your own way. Shakara, get out the way. I thought that's what I've been doing because um, God, I'm gonna let you have it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have it. If I could be, I'd be in the passenger seat. But I gotta drive because who gonna do that? I don't got a self-driving car. And even if I did, I would not be letting it drive me. No fucking where. But it's the point and the principle. I wanna be in a passenger seat. Shit, I wanna be laid out in the back seat. God have it. You said you're gonna have it, have it. I'm allowing you to have it. But in the rely in the reality and the 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 place we live in, in this world that we live in. I gotta be the driver, physically. And get things done. Because who else gonna do it, you know? And so, I'm just trying to get a message on this day. Um, and be out here in the field <laughs> with the nature. Take my shoes and socks off and just be one with nature right now because I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. And I'm pretty sure a message is going to come about more than what already has came about. We live in our best life and when you choose that you're going to live your best life then that's when it's going to show up. And you just got to get out your own way. Put your name there, whoever you are that's listening. Put your name there. Blank, get out the way. So, Shakara, get out the way. Release, let it go. And get out your own way. <clears throat> and allow God to show you. Stop, re stop relying on words. Stop trying to hear some things. Look out for some things. How about that? God, show me. <laughs> show me what it is I need to do in this season and I will do it gladly because what I'm doing now ain't working. It ain't working for me. I don't like it. So, God, show me. I'm looking. I'm looking out off into the distance something is going to show up I'm, I'm trusting in that I'm trusting in that because anything else I don't want to hear it and I don't want to talk period so there's that I'm looking out for a message because I'm committed to living my best life here in the land of the living because it's some living that I gotta do that I ain't been doing. I ain't been living. I've been surviving. And I'm tired of that narrative. Been tired of that. And so, I'm just trying to live my best life. So I need to get out of my own way in order for God to show me how to do that. <laughs> All right, that a message for somebody and me. I'm claiming it out the air, you should too. Because at this point, it's just nonsense that's happening and I don't like it I know I'm pretty sure you don't like it either so we just here with it trying to you know get out the way and if you ain't trying to get out the way then maybe you should get out the way it's time I drink this like it's liquor because this, this is just not that good but it ain't it ain't horrible either. It's just the aftertaste. It really tastes like dirt. <laughs> it really tastes like they done dug this root up and kept the dirt on there for the blending. Um, because baby, look, I taste the earth. But it's, it's good for you. It's good for you. 
<sighs> Thank y'all for listening. That's enough for that TED talk today. Because sometimes you get to a point where you be you be tired of your own shit. And so you just gotta be silent. I don't want to talk. I really don't want to talk, but here it is. Messages gonna keep on coming. They ain't gonna stop. So I'm just trying to still push it out or put whatever it is that I feel like putting out there. But look, I don't want to talk. I need some results. I need to see some shit shake. Okay? And that's just what it is right now. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. And that's just that. I'm just trying to get out my own way. I'm trying to trust. I'm trying. I'm trying. And I'm tired of trying. I'm just trying to actually do. And I feel like I've been doing it. Nothing. Nathan. Nothing. Is yielding the results I desire and require. And it's just be like, well, okay. Obviously, this is something that is out of my control. And I relinquish all control and I release it. I let it go. And it's still silent. So, you could feel me, right? As to why I would be frustrated. Because it's like, what the fuck is the point? What the fuck is the point of all this? Like, what? What is we doing? What is we doing here? I just need to, I just need to understand. Because I don't. And I'm trying. So I'm at that point where I'm just like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a be quiet. I'm gonna get out of my way, own way. And I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about what's going on. I don't want to talk about how we got here because I don't fucking know. And I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. And that saying means that some shit about to shake, basically. So, I don't want to talk. Because what's for me is for me. It's going to happen. And I ain't got to talk about it. And then also, for me, that saying means that I'm on the verge of breaking down and I don't want to talk because I don't got the energy to do it or I'm on the verge of just losing my shit on a person and I don't want to do that so I don't want to talk it's many many meanings to the saying the slang I don't want to talk some shit about to shake I don't want to talk please Give me space. I don't want to talk. Because I don't got the energy to. I don't want to figure it out. I don't want to talk. That's what that means. That's what I think I'm going to name this video. I don't want to talk. Please hear me clear. I don't want to talk. Until I see some shit shake. I don't want to talk. Until God show me. What we doing here. I don't want to talk until I'm living my best motherfucking life, as promised. I don't want to talk until the storm has cleared. Because I've been talking through the storm, and the storm is still fucking roaring. <laughs> and so, what the fuck? What, what, what is the point? I keep talking. I'm gonna be quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like on Friday. As soon as you walk away, I'm keep talking. Whatever Smokey said. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I don't want to talk. But anyway, y'all have the day that you deserve. Y'all have the day that you want. Y'all have the day that you speak into existence y'all have an immaculately amazing day on purpose do everything on purpose intentionally but don't take nothing personal because 
you don't know what the next person going through. So be kind, be patient, and be quiet. Be still. Mm -hmm. And trust the process. And then maybe some to shake. All right. Peace out.